you ever get teammates like this in Valorant? Oh my god. They're both back there. You can do a shock dart. You can do a shock dart, he says. Yo, alt, alt, heaven, alt, heaven. This is what I fucking mean, you're useless. Nothing is more annoying than when you're getting backseated and yelled at through comms when you're trying to bring back any clutch 1vx situation. I'll be going through a bunch of clips from my stream that share these examples of backseating and help people realize how to be a better teammate. By fixing these individual things that you might be doing subconsciously, it actually makes a huge impact on how the rounds can play out. Now before we get started, I'm Cyanic Kevin, and you can follow me on Twitch and the social links down below. Peek him, he's here. Last player standing. Oh One enemy remaining. You should have arrows on them. No, I don't listen to him. Good job. Oh my god, GG. Don't worry, wow. you're with me. Dude, do me a favor. It's good courtesy to not talk when you're dead. Because I need to hear. Who talk? Literally all of you. Everyone. <laughs> Bro, how hard, how hard is it for them to not talk when they're dead? This is not real life. Now, this one's pretty straightforward. If someone's in a clutch situation, just be respectful and let them listen to audio cues so they can play out the round properly. If you die during this scenario, just call out any relevant comms and just watch. There's a surprising amount of people in the average player base that do micro backseat comms like this that make it really distracting for players to play the game. Both back there. You can do a shock dart. You can do a shock dart, he says. <laughs> now this will vary from individual to individual. For, for me, it's okay if you backseat something like how many bullets I have left in my gun. But once you start backseating how to play, that's when it crosses the line. No! 105 on Viper, Cashin. I have dart. Hold up. Don't peek. I have dart. Revealing Eddie. You have an aid. You guys backseat so hard. Throw one now? Play for time, play for time. No, just let me play. I peek off you. One's in the smoke, I think. I'm guessing. One enemy remaining. Peek it, peek it, peek it! Left side, left, right side, right side, right side, peek it! Yes, sir. We're not playing OW. Chill the fuck out, dude. No, bro, we're playing a pro scrim, alright? Pro scrim backseat. You gotta throw it by clicking the left click! Click the left click! I'm like, holy shit. Yo, press W, A, and then D. AD, AD, AD! AD, make sure you crouch, crouch. Peek at the same time. Press one, pull out your vandal. Press one, pull out your vandal. Yeah. Yo, scroll wheel, scroll down, scroll down. Holy shit. I'm losing it, dog. I'm fucking losing it. This guy was just a hardcore backseater who just has no regard for other people. Don't be like him. Like 78 on raise bottom heaven. I heard somebody behind you, and it didn't even affect oh, how you just died. So because now I had to I fucking angle my mouse differently because I'm looking behind me. Oh, okay. Right, whatever. I mean, there was somebody behind you, so you were dead either way, even if you listened or not. I would have just, it's whatever. Just let me play next time. Okay, cool. I mean, you would have died, but alright. Just let me play? Yep, got it. I'm not gonna give any more call outs, cool. It's not what I said, you're acting like a five year old. Acting like a five year old, you just told me to let you play. Basically saying, don't give me comms. I said, don't just let me play, and then you're like, I'm not gonna comm anymore. B bro, what? <laughs> what did I just do? I just gave you comms, and you told me to let you play, so therefore. Yeah, because it was a miscom. Guys, chill. Guys, chill. We're playing around right now. You sound so dumb. Like I have. Bro, you sound like you have 30 cc's of depression in your fucking head, bro. You have a cam. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Comms are comms. You're just mad. Thank God, on job, bro. 
Oh, see main, swung out. Can you said I'm a five year old, literally imitating somebody. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Why are you so upset, buddy? Because you're dumb as fuck. And I really don't That's like you. That's hilarious. Fucking unintelligent. Now, as you can see earlier in this play, this random makes a miscom, which ends up getting the last player killed. After being asked to be quiet and respectful during a clutch situation in future rounds, this Reyna takes this as a personal insult and shows off his ego. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes, so just accept it and move on. Don't let your ego get in the way of a team environment. Spike planted. Dude, you're that, but you're so fucking cool. Bro, you, you gotta use it. You've had it for like s seven rounds, bro. You realize there's not a single round where that res would have made a difference. You walked right by one of your teammates that last bro, round that was bro, right here. We broke now, at you, least. You can rest on one, okay? I mean, yeah, whatever. I mean, you just need to chill, man. <laughs> Yeah, Every no, single round we've no, lost, no, none of the reses would have made a difference. you had a teammate right here that you could have read. That's fine. Yeah, I had a teammate next to me on mid. But when the bomb is planted and it's a one on four, I'm looking for exits. The only time I would ever use that res in a one before post plant if I managed to get two picks within the first 20 seconds. While the res is also in a convenient location. It's very obvious that this omen who's upset that I haven't been rezzing doesn't understand the macro side of this game. Silver's right behind this wall here. No charges left. Look at this. Look at this. Last player standing. When I res. You will not kill my allies. Enemy down. Wall raised. Remaining. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I grab the op, plant the bomb, and rest me. I'm okay. Thirty seconds left. I don't. That's uh, a lot of time that he's gonna be using. I'm just gonna plant. You can play wine if you want. You have it. You got it. Just, I'm having it. I'm having it. Have it, bro. He knows. Left one. Nice. Like, literally, just let me play, man. <laughs> I know what's going on. In this scenario, it's fine when my teammates are talking while I'm doing the rotate after getting a pick, turning the 1v3 into a 1v2. The main issue is how they continue to talk after I hear the dropping audio cue when I'm playing the post plant on A main. At least one of the randoms recognized the problem and told the others to hush. Push off. Push I don't have a heal. Not you. One enemy remaining. Bro, if you're dead, stop talking. I can't hear. It's called communicating. What you're doing isn't communicating. It's called backseating. The first seven rounds of this game have been exactly like this, which is why I kind of just snapped here and just called them out for it. Unsurprisingly, after they stopped backseating, we just won clean rounds. They're not gonna come, garage. They're mid, they're B, they're B. Nope, nope, wait, let me play. They did this last time and pushed C. They never full pushed Walled it. I'm slowing it. Two of them hit. Nice stop. Nice stop. Kills, 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 Sage, kills. One more headshot. 
Got him. Peek me. I'll be flank. He's got mid, he's got mid. I'll be on garage. He's flank, 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 flank. Nice. I feel like I'm babysitting them. Yeah. This game was just another one where we had players who backseated a lot in general. Now, the reason why I told them to stop backseating me was one, it was getting on my nerves, and two, it wasn't the right timing. If I walled off too early there, then we don't get any value out of that wall and the flank that our Reyna was on the minimap, if you paid attention. By delaying it and playing off of the tripwires and baiting utility from the attacking team, we just got a really free three kills from our window flanker, which just snowballed the round for us. Hey, Kevin, you know any uh, OP cypher trips here, bud? Uh, you know how to do the one right here? Right here. Where it's on the barrel and it goes sideways? <laughs> that was wild. We yeah, something like that. I can teach you another one next round. There's one that can go from here right to somewhere right here. over here. This last bit isn't really relevant to the whole backseating and proper etiquette topic, but more so just being open to teaching other players new things if they want to learn. Obviously, the Cypher didn't do the most optimal examples of the tripwires that I was trying to show him here, but it's not bad for a first try, and I think that's something that should be encouraged. Overall, what you should take from this video is just be a respectful person. Understand the times when you should and shouldn't talk, learn the game, study it, and don't let an ego get in the way with working with your team. Be a better teammate and be a better person. I know you guys can do it. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.